Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Dale Defner. Presented this evening will be Mr. Jim Root. Dale attended Morningside High School in Southern California where he placed second in the CIF Southern Section Championships. He attended El Camino High School and was a state junior college champion in 1960. He later attended Long Beach State College where he was a Pacific Coast Intercollegiate Champion in 1963. He also placed fourth at the NC2A Division I Championships. He coached at Long Beach State for five years, Jordan High School for two years. Dale has coached wrestling for the past 36 years at Golden West Community College where his teams have won more than 200 dual meets. My calculations indicate he has coached wrestling for the past 43 years. Dale has also, has also been an outstanding wrestling official since 1963 and has officiated at the U.S. Olympic Trials, the National AAU Championships, and the Pac-10 Championships. He is a Category 1 FILA ranked official. He is a member and inductee of the Orange County Athletic Hall of Fame and was also inducted into the California chapter of the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. A man who has dedicated most of his life to the sport of amateur wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2005 <laughs> class of the California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Mr. Dale Defner. Good evening, wrestling fans. I'll try to make this short. I've had the occasion to uh, speak at these kinds of events before, and it's quite an honor for me to uh, uh, be inducted in this year's class of inductees, and I do want to thank the board and selection committee for this honor. Uh, I look at the past and present inductees, and I'm quite humbled. Uh, there are some sub significant people in the, uh, the uh, history of California wrestling, and I'm honored to be part of that group. I think as, as all the previous inductees have indicated, there's, there's a lot of other people that go into making, you know, making up uh, the recognition of this kind of an award. First of, all, first of all, I'd like to recognize my family. They were able to attend here tonight. My lovely wife, Karen. I have to say, I have to say she did not realize that wrestling was not a year-round sport until I gave up the chairmanship of the Southern California Association. Uh, it was either, uh, either I was coaching, I was recruiting, I was officiating, uh, officiating not only high school but also on the international circuit as indicated here with the uh, uh, being involved with the international program, but also going to camps and clinics and conventions during the summer. And there was always that question that came up any time when I, I would ask her and say, hey, how would you like to go to uh, Missoula, Montana? <laughs> and she would come back with, what wrestling event is taking place there? And obviously, I, at that particular year, I was the head official of the National Junior World or whatever it was, and uh, we had a, we had a quite an eventful family trip that week that that, uh, that summer. Uh, in addition, at, at, I, my son is here, uh, Darren. My daughter Sonia and her husband Marcus. sister Jackie and her husband uh, Jim. These are people that have kind of followed my career through the years and uh, obviously uh, through those years I, I've worn uh, many hats. As a wrestler uh, I can thank you know my teammates, people that worked that I worked out with as well as my coaches. One of my the former coaches here indicated was the head coach at El Camino College uh, by the name of Dave Hanksteller and he sent me a letter of Congratulations, and I think he's made a contribution to the uh, the Hall of Fame in that effort. <clears throat> in addition, and Hugh, Hugh Mumby and, and Alan Abraham and Dr. Francis and Vaughn Hitchcock will all rem remember my old coach, Dr. Boring, at Long Beach State. Uh, he's still alive and kicking, and at the age of 77, he took second in the National Senior Master, or whatever it was called, wrestling Joe Say, I think it was in the finals. Now, what, how even was that, you know? But anyway. <laughs> so as a, as a wrestler, I had a, I, I, I've had a lot of success that way. One of the questions that was asked of me earlier was, uh, what was it about, about wrestling? You know, what got me into wrestling? And I have to say, I, 
you have to understand when you come from Oklahoma there is no other world but wrestling and so I've had a lot of relatives through the years uh, uh, I have a cousin of mine who's more like an uncle named John Steely that kind of got me into it my uncle uh, John, John uh, Defner who happened to uh, uh, be in during World War II? He was on the SOPAC team down at station down in San Diego, but uh, their coach was a direct disciple of Ed Gallagher, and everybody knows who's, who that guy was, right? So he's kind of a you know there's there's something in the bloodline of all those Oklahoma type folk, folks, okay? As a coach, what I what I see as a coach is uh, the contributions that I make working with the kids that that are in my program. And not only the, the many state champions and, and you know, all conference and all Americans, but what I look at, you know, I, can't, I think Armin kind of hit it on the head, is you look at the, where the kids go once they leave you. And I've got several wrestlers here from several generations. I've got kids that wrestle for me at Long Beach State. I've got one of your own here, Rick Rio Frio, that uh, local coach here in Fresno that wrestled for me the one year I coached in high school. And then I've got a couple of wrestlers here that wrestle for me at Golden West. But all those years, what I've what I've enjoyed the most is watching their careers, where they've gone to, you know, once that once they left my program, and I and I and I'd like to say that I, I had a little bit of peace, a little part of their their uh, you know where they went once they once they got out of college, and uh, many of them took up uh, took up coaching. I don't know why, but uh, uh, we we've, we've got a large contingent of coaches in Orange County that uh, are direct disciples of the Golden West pro program. And along with that now, I, I can say that uh, uh, in conjunction, you know, it's not just me as the head coach, but Raul Duarte, one of my wrestlers from Long Beach State, became my assistant coach, and he's been my partner in crime for the last 30-some years, right, coach? And he's, uh, he's a, a friend indeed, and I love him dearly, and uh, uh, we've, had a great, we've had a great run, right, coach? Now along with that, uh, it seems like uh, after our season, knowing that our community college season finishes in December, I've always had this love of the sport to officiate. And just like Dwayne was talking about here, it's a real profession, and it's something that uh, uh, I, I'm not sure everybody can do. And I, I have to tell you, it's a real experience. You've never really been indoctrinated till you've had Dennis Delito in your ear, Matt said. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. Okay, but uh, and during the one of the WAC conference finals, there he got a little excited, and uh, uh, we had to have a little discussion. And we agree. <laughs> but uh, officiating has always been a, a passion of mine, and one of the things I've always heard, uh, there was some national chairman that came across and said, "The better the officiating, the better the wrestling." And so, for all of you that have had a part in, in officiating. Uh, that I think they, you know, if you make a real contribution to the sport in that sense. The other thing I like to say about officiating is, you know, I'm right at least half the time. <laughs> One side of the mat agrees with me, and the other thing is, I win every match. <laughs> okay, that was the other thing on that. As far as uh, uh, my contributions as an association chairman, what I have to do is I look at every one of you here that's ever had a part in, in helping put on a wrestling tournament. The volunteers in wrestling, it's amazing. And I hear all of the, you know, the previous inductees here, the amount of time, the volunteers that we see here, there's a real team effort that way too. So I commend those people and I thank you for uh, your contribution to the sport that way. As far as uh, anything else, I want, again, I want to thank the, uh, the organizing committee the, uh, that uh, put my nomination forward and accepted my nomination to the, the uh, Hall of Fame. Thank you very much. I believe you said that Toledo got excited in a wrestling match. <laughs>